What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Seeds, and I am back with another carnival look. And as you can see, honey, they're not going to be ready for you with this look. So I'm here with this blue glitter eyeshadow look. And I told y'all that I was here to bring the Bacchanal. Well, I'm not bringing Bacchanal today. I'm bringing Wahala. It's the same difference, but I'm using the Wahala 2 palette to get this look. So guys, make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. Share with your friends. Y'all know, do all the things, but, you know, help your girl out. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Do something. Y'all know they watching. Share my video with Juvia's Place. Y'all, hook your girl up. Y'all know what to do. So, if you want to know how I got this look, if you're preparing for Miami Carnival 2021 and you need some inspiration, then stay tuned and I'll see you in the rest of the video. Bye! <laughs> What a do party people. So I'm back again. And y'all know I gotta add a little hydration to my face. Okay, let that soak in. Y'all, okay. And moving on. I'm gonna take my face primer, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I was moving too fast. Like, what am I doing? Okay, get it together. So I'm gonna take my moisturizer which y'all i've been loving this from avino and i'm putting this all over my face this is also for sensitive skin and y'all know after i moisturize my face it's time to get into one of the you know the most important things that we do which is our brows so my favorite thing is this nyx cosmetics micro brow pencil Y'all, just, I mean, look at the precision, okay? The precision to help you make the right decision to get them eyebrows popping. So, y'all know I be having a little trouble on that side, but hey, I get to what together. And if you fill it in a little bit, you can kind of, you know, get the shape going. So, I just went back in with my spoolie to, you know, buff the color out. I'm also taking my Juvia's Place Brow Pomade, and this is straight up in black. So I use this after I put the espresso shade on just to darken it. I kind of go for like the like the ombre brow look because I don't like those big harsh brows, you know. They be giving too much and I just want to give them something that they can feel. Popping! And moving on, I'm going to take my concealer which is in the color 12. I always use this concealer. This is one of my favorites. This is also from Juvia's Place as well. And I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm taking a flat concealer brush. And I think I got this brush from Ulta. I love it. It's super big. And I'm just cleaning up my brows. The top and the bottom. And y'all know how I usually do. Just bring it down over my eyelids a little bit. So I'm doing the same thing for the other side. Okay. And y'all know your girl. Likes to blend. Make sure you have everything blended in very well. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just making sure that I have everything blended. Because we don't want any harsh lines in our foundation at all. Okay. So after that's done, I'm going to move on to the Wahala 2 palette from Juvia's Place. Which is super, super beautiful. And I'm going to show you all of the colors. Look at all of these. They have such beautiful blues. So, the first color that I'm going to take is called Dream, which is a beautiful, bright, royal blue color. So, I'm just getting a small buffer brush, and I'm putting it all in that color. I mean, it is so pigmented, and I'm just putting it on the outer corners of my eyes. And as you guys can notice, my eyes are really small and i really don't have that much room to like work with the eyeshadow so it takes a lot of me playing around with things and my crease and look my eyes is just small but y'all know i make it do what it do okay i make it work for me 
So as you can see, I'm just packing the eyeshadow on in the outer corners and then I'm bringing it in to my crease using that same brush. So I'm just going to do the same thing over on the other side. And I'm putting it on in tapping motions because if you smudge this, it's just going to look ugly. So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing. And I got a clean brush to kind of go back in to like spread it out a little bit more because it was not giving what it was supposed to give. But anytime you're working with really pigmented colors, you always have to go back in. It takes a lot of blending, okay? So I'm taking the same brush and I'm just darkening it up so that it could give the same thing on both sides, okay? And y'all, I'm just going and going and going in. So next, I'm taking this nice peach color and I'm putting it on my under eyes. And that's kind of helping to clean up where you see the excess blue that just, you know, kind of got a little crazy. After that, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and these are just sensitive wipes from Ulta. Y'all can see my little technique of how I wrap it around my nail so that I can get it super crisp. And I'm just wiping off that excess blue because we're going to do a cut crease. And I want to make sure that it doesn't, like, you know, blend together. And I got my P. Louise. I think it's eyeshadow. Y'all know I don't know what this stuff is. If it's eyeshadow primer or whatever it is. So this is in the color zero, which it's not really a color. It's just white. And I'm just taking the white and cutting my crease with it. And I'm trying to get it as precise as possible, but y'all know how that could be sometime. And I'm just using a flat brush to do so. And I'm going to go and do the same thing on the other side, okay? So after I get that all blended, come on, you got to shape it, girl. Come on, Miss Girl, you could do it. And I'm just patting that in. Making sure I get that nice, nice, nice coverage. And next, I'm taking that really light blue color out, which, y'all, that is so pigmented. Look how beautiful this blue is. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. And I have a small eyeshadow brush, which I am just tapping it on. And, I mean, y'all, look at this popping. I love this blue. I got to do another look with this. I don't know where I'm going, but damn, look at it. I mean, sometimes I just, you know, amaze myself with my wonderful makeup skills. But y'all know, just keep tapping, keep tapping. So, actually, if you like the eyeshadow look like this, you can definitely stop right here. This look stands alone. You can put on... Your eyeliner, your foundation, and all that, and go. But that's not what we're about over here with Queen C's TV. We're going to take it to the next level. And we're going to add some glitter. Because what? It's carnival. So, we doing it big butter than them. Okay? So, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm back. And I just have this beautiful... Blue glitter that I'm putting on with my NYX Cosmetics Glitter Glue. And I'm taking another flat brush and I'm just putting it all over where I put that beautiful teal, I don't know, teal, light blue color. And the thing that actually like worked out perfect is that the glitter is almost the exact same color as the eyeshadow I put on. So I really love that and I always like to put a base on. Before I put glitters on, you know, just in case you don't want the little seepage coming through. So I'm just cleaning off the excess glitter and I'm wiping under my eyes, getting the underneath apart, making sure I got all of that super, super crisp so that we can put our eyeliner on and, you know, get all of that. Also, this is my favorite black matte eyeliner from NYX Cosmetics as well. And I'm just doing a little something, something. Y'all know it's hard for me to put eyeliner on, but you know. <laughs> Look, I got this on pretty quickly. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll be back for y'all. So I got these beautiful lashes. They came with one of my wigs. So I can't even tell y'all where to get them. Y'all know when y'all buy a wig. They send you free lashes. So I was really feeling those in the category is baby. So next now I'm actually going to take my face primer and start getting my face together because that's really going to complete the look. You know, I'm looking half baked right now, but we need to fully bake the cake. So after I get finished priming my face, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe foundation, which this is the Hint Hint Skin Tint from Morphe. Um, You just, I like it. You just gotta like keep squeezing a lot out because a lot does not come out the little teeny dropper. It's like half of a dropper, but it gives you very great coverage. As you can see, I only really used about three drops on each cheek, one on my forehead. And I mean, look at the coverage that it's giving me. I really like this. So here, I mean, it's already looking like I got, you know, the full shebang on. So I'm going to go back with my concealer from Juvia's Place. And I believe that this one is, I don't know what color it is, y'all. It The one I always use with 12. So I mix those two to give me a nice brightening under my eyes. And then I'm taking my Zambia foundation stick just to warm my face back up. And as you can see with this flat foundation brush, I'm just using this to smooth my concealer out. And I'm going to let it sit for a little bit while I move on. So I'm just taking a little setting spray and going back with my beauty blender to further blend out what I got going on. Okay. And then after that, I'm just going to buff out the darker foundation that I put on. Y'all see it. I mean, look how it come together. I mean, look how it come together. I know some of my girls be saying they can't do makeup, but you literally just take it one step at a time. So next, I got my Sasha Buttercup Powder. Y'all had to refill it. I'm taking my same beauty blender and going right underneath of everywhere I highlight it. So under my eyes, on each side, my chin, and that little part above my forehead and as you can see it's super beautiful so while it's still baking i am taking my blush to put that on so i put my blush right on top of that because y'all know i always put a finishing powder on top and i figure if you put your blush on first if you put too much on you can kind of cover it up to blot it out y'all i'm taking my highlighter today is going to be glow cane from the crayon case and this is a very white, light, shimmery color. And as you can see, it goes so beautiful with my skin tone. And this just gives you that, y'all oh my, y'all know I always do too much. So I'm just taking the same brush that I put my blush on with to kind of wipe some of that off. Y'all know what I say, if you mess up, you know, keep it moving. So I'm taking my Urban Decay highlighter and just highlighting underneath of my brows where I put that light color and I'm going back in with my highlighter so now I'm just brushing off that Sasha buttercup powder while I was baking and when I got right here I noticed that you couldn't really see the blue that I put on earlier so I had to go back in with that color dream and I'm going to put it under my eyes so that it can you know bring the entire look together and y'all be careful when you're doing this part next i have my morphe setting powder and i'm just brushing it all over my face so that way it can kind of tone down the glow and where i put too much of that without really doing too much so next i just sprayed my morphe setting spray and now i'm going to line my lips Y'all already know, I love nude lips. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a nude lip girl. I see some of y'all saying, girl, do another lip. But y'all, I just can't. I just love nude lips. 
And when your eyes is giving a lot, I don't like for the lips to do too much, you know? So I have my Stila Matte um, Lipstick that is drying on. And then after that, I'm using the Glow Up Academy's Pink Lip Gloss. And yeah, let me give you the big reveal. <laughs> yeah, shorty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. And this is the final look. I mean, it's what? Giving it to the girls. So I'm pretty sure if anyone is interested for Miami Carnival, they did do the band launch. Okay. And the costumes are fire. The band I usually play with, One Island. I think most of their costumes are sold out. But y'all, I'm just here to provide some inspiration i mean when you see me coming on the road like this like come on now the queen queen sees is in the building so this is how you let the girls know that you didn't come to play so guys i know a few of you in my last video inquired about um different bands how you get costumes for carnival and all different things like that i should just do like a carnival essential vlog because some people said y'all were interested in going um so i'm just leave some information like down in the description box of the two bands well it's three bands that are really good for miami carnival 2021 so yeah bye enjoy